Yes, we've just installed Arch Merged i3. We've done all scripts except the personal folder. And we're gonna reboot now and see what we get. And now we're going into the installation of the personal folder. So you boot from the existing OS. Let's see what we've installed. Out of the box, Arch Merged i3 looks like this. I don't want to see the message anymore. Vivaldi is booted on Workspace 1, Workspace 2, Atom is booted. You have to click this off so we don't see it anymore. Yes, I want to help improve. Close this one and close that one. Let's include some more information about uh, Atom. This is Atom. And we install the package. And the packages I want to install are already known to me. I want pigments. That one, that one. I want minimap. Packages. Minimap. I select it. And that's okay. And sometimes you'll ask to install something else because of dependencies and then you just say yes and everything is installed like this here install dependency yes and that's that we're ready to go um a few weeks ago we have a conkey from willem and the conkey has lua text so if you want to have support for lua if you say i'm gonna learn about that just add syntax highlighting and snippets to Lua files in Atom, and that's installed as well then. Um, so we have now i3. Variety is working or not, depending. Um, let's first maybe do a quick screen key. So I'm launching an application, which is called screen key. And every time I press Ctrl Alt T, you see what I'm pressing. So Ctrl Alt T, is our terminal quick show this is 6.3.1 i3 and so okay we have still a personal folder this folder that's what this tutorial is all about we can also install these it's not necessary it's personal it's named personal so the idea it's it's my setup it shouldn't be your setup it's up to you to decide whether you want it or not how can you go about, how can you do an analysis? You open the folder, you go to home, control H, your folder is in the config, in i3, that's what you need to open. This is the heart of your system. And each time you click here on Compton Conf, let's get rid of that. So config, this is the folder. And with all the files inside you just click in here and you see what's going to be changed on the right so this is the most important one the config folder a file and um, you can check out what you want now what i always also want to see in my atom is another folder so open add project folder another one and the one i want to see is the amd i3 as well so now we have two folders open let's close this one we'll need it later on maybe but this is the one we're working on this is a git clone in personal there are folders and you just evaluate whether you want to run these or not it's it makes directories if there is no directory themes it's going to make it rather me making it manually every time in every installation these things will be created in the system here in these scripts my personal bookmarks will be coming there firefox reading unreadable texts if i choose for uh, the dark theme then firefox sometimes you can't read the text and then this is a little fix to do this personal settings for games set sh if you want that and install the lts kernel version one if you want the ls lts kernel or delete the LTS kernel later on. So these are just optional things. You don't need to run it. Since this is about that, I am going to run it and you'll see what happens. Not all the time, but in this case, 120, you'll see 
to the left what changes. Otherwise, I have to make every folder again and now everything is the same. Whether I install, reinstall and my hundreds installation will still have the same look and I'll find everything very easily. Firefox need to be started. This Firefox is not started, so let's make a mistake and it'll tell you. Cannot create directory. The Firefox has never been launched before, so there is no dot Mozilla Firefox folder to copy to. So Control Alt F is launching Firefox. Now this is open. Control Shift Q. Let's close it up again because that's all I need to do. Launch it once, run it again, and now it can copy paste the folder or the file to the folder. We have some scripts we like from GIP. 310, I'm not going to do it. It's set as H. If you want to learn more about that, there are tutorials on Eric Dubois as well. And install LTS kernel. We better not do it because we're on VirtualBox. So that's it for me. This is what I would install on the personal, on the, from the personal folder. And now it's up to you to learn more about i3 and lots of tutorials and text and articles on archmerged.com and as well on archmerch because i3 is part of archmerch so you can read there as well enjoy <laughs>